hi everyone and welcome back to another video and if you're new here then welcome today i have my hair up my apron on and i'm ready to do some baking if you do see me looking a bit nervous it's because all of my curtains and blinds are open because it's a nice day and i've never really filmed before with the knowledge that neighbours and people walking past can look at me and see me filming so that's why I might be a little bit nervous and looking out the window all the time but please ignore that today we are going to be making a uh, the viral TikTok strawberry cake if you haven't seen it I'm going to put a put up should I say put up a picture right now Yasmin edit this in please that is what I should be making hopefully but we'll see how it goes I'm okay at baking but even this to me is a really big task it's something really complicated that I've never done before so yeah let's see how it goes I'm not doing any promises today but I have all my ingredients here already set out I just need to weigh them all don't worry about me showing you the ingredients. I am going to put the link to the recipe down below. The link will be down there for you all to copy this if you want to. It's from a blogging website. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it down there. And I think that that's where the TikTok got their idea from as well. I'm not too sure, but alas, we are going to carry on and make this version. It is all in American sort of languages so i think this is going to be pretty tricky it's all in fahrenheit and cups and all of that malarkey which here in england we don't we don't work to that measurement system we work to a different one so i'm going to try and convert it all myself which might go well and might not so these are my ingredients here First of all, we need to make a coloured paste so we can put the strawberries on. And for that, we're going to use food colouring. I've got the extra strong red food colouring for the strawberries. And I don't have a green food colouring, but I do have a bag of food colourings here. So I've got yellow and blue, which I'm going to mix together. Um, and then we've got some other bits and bobs here. I've left the butter out so that it's room temperature, so it's easier to work with. And I'm just gonna make the paste and then I think we're gonna put it into icing bags and pipe it on to some greaseproof paper. That is the most technical bit of this journey. Okay, so in here I have mixed some sugar, butter, flour, egg white and food coloring, I think. And that's gonna be the red of the little strawberries that we're gonna pipe on. And then I need to clean this out and make a green one for the little strawberry leaves as well. Okay, let me just tell you that was not as easy as it seems. I have done baking competitions in my life. I have baked, like literally my whole life, I've baked cakes. And I've never put that much effort into what I just did. I've made three different mixtures of three different colours which took me a really long time and they are going to be um, what we're going to pipe onto the grease proof paper to make the strawberries so we've got a red, a pink and a green and they are sitting pretty so this is going to be the main strawberry colour this is going to be the green leaves on the strawberry and this is going to be the little dots on the strawberry in like a paler sort of pink hopefully if that works now we're going to move these to the side put down some grease proof paper and start sketching. Okay, so I'm about to start piping with the green. I honestly cannot tell you how scared I am. I've never really done much piping before. I'm a cake baker, but I'm not a cake decorator. So let's see, we're gonna pipe the strawberries and the design onto this grease proof paper here. Then once that's done, we're gonna pop it in the freezer for it to set while we make a cake mixture and hopefully everything will go well. Let's start, oh my God, I don't even know where to start. I'm so scared, okay, let's start here. Now, I can't remember what strawberries look like, so that's fun. That looks too small. Honestly, that looks too small. Let's let's go big, go big or go home. So I'm gonna cut the little piping bag um, thing a bit lower down. So we're gonna get a thicker. There we go, that's better. So now we've got a thicker sort of strawberry vibe. 
Right, that looks okay. Right, going in with the straw, the red for the strawberry. Cut this quite a lot thicker because this is obviously going to be the main part of what we're doing. I'm so scared. Oh my god, it doesn't look. It doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna give you guys a little close up so you can see what I've done here. So that's what's going on at the moment. I've used the green to do the little strawberry top and the red to do the strawberry bottom. I just hope that when they bake, they actually still look like strawberries. That is the aim of the game. Okay, let's get busy and do the rest. Ah. pretty good with the strawberries not gonna lie i'm kind of impressed myself i do think i should have done them a lot smaller but alas we don't have time to complain um and now i'm gonna do i'm not gonna do the pink dots on the strawberries um because i've just re-looked at the recipe and she's just done like decorative dots around the strawberries which is what i'm gonna try and do now um and then yeah I'm really excited for this, so I hope it doesn't go terribly wrong because right now it's looking real cute. And I'll get back to you once I've done all these little pink dots around the strawberries because it's going to take me a while. Okay, I can't even tell you how impressed I am with my piping skills. Like, ah, I, I'm not a piper. I'm not a baker. Well, I am a baker. I'm not a decorator. Um, so let me show you my piping skills. One second. Okay, guys, look at that. It's looking pretty good. Not gonna lie, I'm very, very impressed with myself. So I'm gonna pop this in the freezer while I make the rest of the mixture. And I hope it freezes properly and nothing goes wrong because right now I'm really excited about what I've done right here. It's so cute. Um, oh my God, I'm so excited about this, but I'm so nervous. Now in this mixing bowl I have three large egg yolks and some sugar and the ingredients say to whisk that until it's at a light sort of consistency um, and it's all fluffy and we're going to use a, an electric whisk for this because I'm definitely not doing it by hand. I have done that before and it took me nearly two hours to make a cake. So here we go, we're going to whisk this until it's light in colour and then we're going to add some vegetable oil, I think, maybe some flour and food colouring, can't remember, but first let's get to whisking. Ooh, there we go. Now this is light and fluffy, it says to add milk and almond extra extract. Um, but I'm not going to add almond extract because I'm not really a fan of almonds. So I've added some vanilla extract instead. It also says to add half a tablespoon of kosher salt. Um, I only have table salt and I don't really want to add half a tablespoon because that's quite a lot. So I've added just a pinch of normal salt into it and I hope that's going to be okay. I don't want it to be too salty. So I've added all that in there. Then we're going to mix a little while longer. I'm also going to add in some food colouring because I want the cake to be like a light pink, pink and fluffy. So I'm going to mix a little bit of red with a little bit of pink so that it's a different colour from the food colouring we've already added to the design pattern. So I'm just going to put a little bit of red, a little bit of pink in the bowl with my milk, egg yolks, etc. And give that another whisk until it's all blended together. So this is the food colouring I normally use. It's a Dr. Okta food colouring um, in these little tubes and it's really, really handy to keep in the tubes. It leaks a lot less when you put it back in the cupboard and it's also stronger than normal food colouring, I find. So here we go. I'm going to put a bit of the pink in there, just a little bit. Oh my God, it's coming out in a bubble. That was fun. A tiny weeny bit of the red in there too. Just a smidgen. Okay, let's get mixing. <laughs> okay, now in a separate bowl, I need three egg whites. I already have one here, so I'll pop that in. Two more. This recipe is honestly using up all of my eggs, which is quite stressful. Um, oh my god, the yolk went in as well. Bad times. I don't know what I'm going to do with these leftover yolks. Um, I might try and Google a recipe afterwards for egg yolk things. Um, but at the moment we just need 
three egg whites. So let's get that done. So far, no big disasters. Okay, so we have three egg yolks and I assume we're gonna put sugar in here and whisk it. Okay, we're gonna beat these first. So I need to clean my beaters. This is honestly quite a tricky recipe, I think. Um, not for the faint-hearted. So I am going to beat the egg whites first and then we're adding the sugar. So this is the first thing to go wrong. I knew something would, but my egg whites and sugar will not go to a stiff consistency. They're only going to like a liquidy consistency, which is really upsetting as I don't have any egg whites left. So I can't make a new batch. I think what's happened is that I went on a high speed too fast and for too long and they went from their rigidity back to their liquid form. Um, I'm still going to use this anyway. I know that it might go wrong, but I don't have any other options. So I either try this or I just give up. So I'm going to try this. It is, as I say, quite liquidy, but let's give it a go. We're going to mix it into the pink egg white no egg yolk mixture we made earlier um which is actually quite thick so maybe that's a good thing that this isn't so thick so we're gonna pour half of it in there again it's not meant to be this liquidy so yeah and then there it is we are gonna give it a good stir fold it in with half of it oh my god it's so liquidy Oh, please work. So at the moment, it just looks like a big peach coloured mess, which is kind of cute. We like the peach. It's very spring vibes, but it is very liquidy. And the recipe says to pour the rest of that in there, which I am slightly worrying about. It's already not good. I know from experience of years of making meringues that there's no going back once your egg whites are too liquidy and you've over whisked so i'm just going to try and leave them for a little bit to settle so they're not as liquidy and hope that that works and then we've got to get the patterned tray out of the freezer and put this mess on top of it fingers crossed so here we go i have this out of the freezer it's not completely frozen but it is not moving anywhere and then i'm going to try and pull this on the top it really looks gloopy so i'm scared i think i'm gonna ruin it but we'll see so just gonna go like this lightly over the top and hope that that is gonna be okay 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 I don't feel like this is enough mixture or I feel like I've done way too much like pattern for the mixture so a lot of it isn't going to get baked as well. It's okay we're going to fix this I'm a genius it's not going to be a disaster let's just keep positive talking to ourselves guys positive positive thoughts right if I spread this over the top <laughs> Oh, I love just talking to myself like it's all gonna work out and in my head I know that it's not. Put that over a little bit. Hope that we get something out of this. I want to try and make it a bit more uniform so that it's actually um, gonna be like a square sort of shape that we can roll because remember we're gonna have to roll this afterwards which is a little problemo. It's really not um, the shape that I necessarily want it to be at the moment. Okay, <gasps> she's gonna go in. We're gonna give her 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Only 10 minutes and then we're done. So here we go, pray, 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 manifest, wish, 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 let's go in the oven. I am terrified about this, I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be the most nerve wracking 10 minutes of my whole life waiting for this cake to bake. Not bake, I don't know what's gonna happen. She might just melt away in there, but we're gonna put our trust in the Lord and our trust in the universe and hope that it works. In the meantime, I'm gonna try and give this kitchen a good clean because this recipe calls for about 10 different mixing bowls and all sorts of things. So we're gonna get rid of everything here and then we're gonna hopefully have a beautiful 
little cake to roll up in 10 minutes. So I'll get back to you with either a disaster or a success. Oh, stay to the end, find out. Okay, you guys, apparently it's ready. I am so scared. I feel like I've like had a baby, like my newborn's coming out. I am so scared um, to see what it looks like, but let's all go and find out together. Oh. Okay, are we ready for the big reveal? Um, uh, okay. It doesn't look the worst and it doesn't look the best. I'm gonna just poke a little hole in there because it's risen a little bit. What I should have done is really tapped it to make sure there were no holes going on in there. But I think it is gonna sink back down. Good. I'm terrified to like look at the other side or move it in any way. Okay, this is gonna be the scary bit, so I'm gonna get myself prepared for this. What we need to do is to flip this over onto a flat surface. Oh no, it scares me just saying that, <laughs> but that's what the recipe said, so let's have a look. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm just making it up as I go along. <sighs> no, that doesn't seem right. I'm so scared. Okay, can we just move it like that? We can. Ah, right. It's actually quite flexible, so I'm thinking it won't be too bad. God, Yasmin, just do it, just do it. Ready? <gasps> ah! And I would carefully, it says carefully peel this off. Oh my God, guys! I'm so excited, it looks so good. <gasps> oh my frigging God, I'm trying so hard not to sweat. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be composed, but I'm honestly so friggin' happy that I've managed to do this! It looks good! Literally, you must think I'm such a loser, but oh my god, I've never baked anything this beautiful in my whole friggin' life. I'm just astounded at myself, honestly. Like, I feel like I deserve a medal or something. Look at how beautiful this is! I'm gonna scream. No, I'm not. Calm it down. Okay, now it says to get a clean tea towel, which I've just done, and liberally put icing sugar on it. Then we put it, roll this, wait, do this, do that, like so. Put the cake over again. That didn't go as well. That did not go as well. Okay, the cake is flipped. And now we need to roll the cake up. Oh my God, I don't know how to roll it. Okay, rolling. This is the scariest bit for me, but I'm just gonna do it and hope that it works. It says to do it while it's still warm, so that's what I'm doing. And we're leaving it for an hour, apparently. Ah, that looked amazing, but we've still got so many chances to ruin it. So, I rolled it up in the tea towel, right over there behind me, um, I've parked it there. It says to leave it for an hour, but I'm gonna leave it probably for an hour and a half slash two hours, and come back to it later to do the mixture, because I want it to completely cool down before I do anything with it. It said to um, leave it rolled up while it's still warm so it retains muscle memory. So I'm gonna do that and come back in a little while and fingers crossed, we'll be ready to go. I'm literally so excited about this, honestly. Okay, I've got changed because I just went for a walk with Kai. I've come back now and we're gonna make the filling for the inside of the cake and I'm gonna unroll it and see how it looks. So in here we've got some gelatin. I need to put it in the microwave in five second intervals until it has all dissolved. And then we are going to mix it with our whipping cream. Okay, I think it's completely dissolved now. We've got a cup of double cream here and we're going to add some granulated sugar and icing sugar to that and whip it up until it forms stiff peaks. Okay, so I've got the cream mixed up so it's nice and thick. I'm gonna take a spoonful of this, as the recipe says, and pop it in my gelatin water mixture and mix that in. We're gonna pour it into our cream mixture. 
like this and then we're going to mix it again very slowly with the whisk we've got to be really careful not to over whisk this we've already had an over whisking problem today so let's calm down and the recipe does call for freeze dried strawberries but i'm actually allergic to strawberries maybe i'll pop in a little bit of pink food coloring as well just to get the pink color that was in that picture that we saw it all correlates together and looks one pretty pink picture okay here's what it looks like we've got a lovely little pink cream to go inside the roll now the next part of the job is i think the hardest part we are going to have to unroll the strawberry cake and put the mixture in and then roll it back up again <sighs> i'm out of breath i'm so nervous about this part so this is what i have this roll here we are going to gently unroll this to what we made earlier i'm hoping there's going to be no breakages in it that is the main thing i wish for looks good so far <gasps> it does look a little bit cracked but okay we've got it now we need to take this off as well which is a bit tricky it looks a little bit like it's stuck to it <gasps> come on come on Hopefully the cream is going to uh, mix everything together. Right, okay, cream. We're going to very gently put our cream on top of here. It's quite thick, but it says to spread a thin layer, which is what I'm going to do. And it says to leave two inches sort of either side. So I am going to do that as well. Here we go, the thing I'm most nervous about is definitely rolling this back up. But I'm hoping that once we do, we will have the prettiest strawberry cake in all the land that anyone has ever seen. And I'm so excited just to, I don't know, I'm going to have a photo shoot with it afterwards, definitely, if it goes well. And now we've got to roll this back up with our hands. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. Oh, but it kind of looks good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we kind of did it! There she is, you guys, in all of her glory. My strawberries have gone pretty well. Um, it looks kind of better on this side when you see the strawberries properly. Kind of look like love hearts, which is super cute. We've got the little pink dots on there, absolutely gorgeous. I'll definitely make this again. You have to wrap this in clean film, and then it says to leave it a minimum of two hours or overnight in the fridge. I think I'm going to leave it overnight or wrapped up so it's better tasting in the morning, and then I can get some good pictures of it as well. There she is, all wrapped up. I'm going to see you in the morning. Hello, my loves. Excuse the camera angle, but it is the morning now and I'm going to cut the cake. Here we go, I'm going to unravel it. I'm very excited about this. It has held its shape very well, I have to say. And they told me to use a serrated knife because the little strawberry parts might be a bit hard. So that is what I'm going to do. And give it a little cut. It's going quite well actually. Oh, there's a little hole in it. Let's go for another slice now there we go oh, it looks gorgeous let me give you a close up there we go look at that wow guys for watching i know this was a little bit different today and not like any of my usual videos but i really wanted to try this out and i think it actually went really well so i'll definitely be trying more tiktok cooking trends again soon if you've heard of any that you want me to try please leave it down in the comments below and i'll get to it as soon as i can thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the rest of your week i'll see you very soon Bye bye